Uh, again, it's not about your fucking show. Uh, oh. Tell us about your shows. You know, when you, you were saying oh, that I was a style leader before. You are a style leader. And you're so immaculately leader. dressed. Mm. I just want to show everyone now at home uh, the thongs I'm wearing, uh, which my wife purchased for me. Oh, they still got the sticker on them. Girl press. Look at that. You're wearing girl thongs. Because it's so goddamn hot here, I've got lady thongs on. <laughs> are the man ones too sweaty? or? Girl press. Yeah. She couldn't find any man thong. And so yet got, she knows your... Like a delicate uh, little lady thongs on. Does she know your feet size in women's That's shoes? That's how fashionable I am. You have men and I women. I defy Is categorization. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unisexual. I don't mind. Yeah. That's great. So about your shows. <laughs> oh, there's shows. Yes, what shows? <laughs> don't know anymore. Right, so you have you got two. Well, you had an art exhibition. I had a, yeah, my, the, my first ever art exhibition. I snuck yeah. into the Tuxedo Cat on, okay. uh, on the weekend and there was a show on. It was like 11 o'clock at night. We got chased out. Well, we did see some stuff, but then I realised that there was like two or three more rooms of other stuff. Yeah, there's, there's four rooms altogether. There's oh, three crap. rooms of immersive art and then there's one room that's showing a couple of short films I made uh, several yeah. years ago. So. You are a renaissance man. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's, um, so tell us, tell us about putting an art exhibition together. I don't understand anything. I don't think I'll ever do it again. It's been the most uh, torturous uh, There's so period. much there. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, is it everything you've ever done? No, no, God, it's only stuff in the last couple of years, really. And wow. even then, not all the stuff I've done in the last couple of years. I'm very, I get easily distracted, so mm. yeah, I work on a number of things at the same H time. Have yeah. you seen people looking at your art? Is there a, is there a harrowing process to watch people you know, taking it in as opposed to a, not a live audience. No, it's been it's been um, really gently surprising that it's uh, people have been um, very complimentary of it. Mm -hmm. When I've, I've gone up to them, and talked to them, if they haven't noticed I've been there. They've been um, they've been really uh, stunned by it, which is which is great. And do you reveal more of yourself through your art, or less than you may do on stage, oh, or is the, it just a different kind of expression? No, the the fellow on stage is a total con construct, whereas the the art seems to be far more honest to me. Mm. Yeah, do you far have more revealing? Do you have problems going to sleep at night? Some of it is quite like there's the I just saw the monster room with a story. Kid, oh, yeah, and yeah. it's kids' stories, right? Yeah, yeah. it's kids' more stories less. about monsters. Well, they're dark kids' stories. Kids. I mean, you know, we have well, we, we don't had, call them dark kids anymore. We've had <laughs> <laughs> we've had an onslaught of wiggles and uh, that sort of you mm. know the pastely happy primary coloured world where where kids aren't allowed to see any sharp objects um, and everything's got to be soft and fluffy and and this was sort of like an answer to that a response to that. Do you so, read these stories to your kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I used to love, uh, you know, uh, gothic fairy tales when I was mm. a child. So, mm. you know, really or well, anything of that Roald Dahl six. kind of world where yeah. you know people long got, arms and well, pointy yes, elbows. and there was and just that inherent undercurrent of violence and darkness mm. to it all. I think that kids oh. like kids get off on it. You've got to prepare them for the world. Yeah, you know, once mm. they get out there, it's not all bloody beach balls. Beach balls and pastels. <laughs> Honestly, it's not. Yeah. And girls they express sandals. They should learn sandals. this at the age of three o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock, what? <laughs> the age. At the age of three o'clock. Yeah, I was reaching for my sandal at the same time. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Bit of advertising. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're Never probably going to be sponsored by Girls Thongs. Wouldn't get that oh, on the ABC. Uh, now, um, you're also doing another show, Paul Sings. Yeah, I'm singing. What's that about? It's me singing. Yeah, right. 